Welcome to the Age of Awakening. Please identify yourself. Enter. So let's start off with our weekly success snack. And the title for this is, Why Should You Fake It Till You Make It? Well, here's the reality. If you want to make more money or reach a certain net worth, but yet still are falling short, there are two very crucial things that you have to do first. So let's say, for example, you want one day to be to have a net worth of seven figures. I mean, awesome. And it, it could be any goal, by the way, right? Just using money here as, uh, as a pretext. But before you get there, guys, first, you got to step into the identity of a seven-figure earner. Think about what millionaires think about. So ask yourself this question. How does a, a millionaire think, act, and speak? How do they carry themselves? Because... The answer to those questions are the clues you need to create it for yourself. That's how I learned. That's how I was able to um, shift and change my mindset from scarcity and not knowing or understanding uh, the strategies, how to build and create uh, sustainable wealth. I learned from people who are already doing it, who are already successful. So again, ask yourself, what is their overall identity? Look, you can't be a seven-figure earner walking around with slumped shoulders, you know, bad posture, low energy, negative thoughts, and spending your nights and weekends watching reality TV. It's just not going to happen. You got to step into that identity of a seven-figure earner first before you can create it. Now, secondly, you got to live the lifestyle of a seven-figure earner. Now, let me be clear here. I'm not saying that you need to go out and expend purchase a bunch of expensive things and put yourself into debt. In fact, that's exactly what you should not do. But guys, what you also need to understand is seven-figure earners don't penny pinch. In fact, they invest very heavily in themselves, their knowledge, their education, and their ability to perform at a high level. And they would never sacrifice their quality of life to save a few dollars. Now, some people might call this faking it until you make it, but to me, it's more about alignment, alignment with your goals and the person that you want to be. You've heard me say before, if you are going to manifest, if you're truly going to tap into this law of attraction, which is real, I've discussed it on many shows, you can go back and check it out, you not only must create a vision but you must align with the emotions of what it will feel like of once you create it. That's the key why most people never experience the kind of manifestation that they desire to have. So if you want to be healthier, identify with somebody who is healthy. Identify what their lifestyles are. What are the habits do they engage in? So before you can reach any goal, you need to be subconsciously ready for that goal. I hope this made sense. <music>